The course of globalization and population growth, the world is increasingly networked. Every year, tens of thousands of kilometers of new pipelines for commodities such as oil, gas, and water, as well as district heating, electricity, or telecommunications are laid. In underground, near-surface pipeline installation, conventional construction measures often leave large scars on the landscape. Even years after completion of the work, life and agriculture use are disrupted. That's why Herrenknecht has developed the new Pipe Express method. The innovative technology allows environmentally friendly and economical installation of pipelines underground in one single step. The method has great advantages, particularly in ecologically sensitive areas. In comparison to conventional open installation, the required corridor width can be reduced by around 70%. Massive earth movements are no longer necessary and less construction equipment is required. This means less impact on the surrounding nature and environment. In a project in the Netherlands, a 500-meter-long pipeline with a diameter of about 1.2 meters was laid in groundwater with overburden of up to 2.5 meters. This was the first time the new machine technology was used. The entire system consists of a tunneling unit, a jacking unit, and an operating vehicle. In the first step, a Herrenknecht pipe thruster is installed in the launch pit. Then a crane lifts the approximately 30-ton tunneling unit into the pit with the help of a special lifting frame. A roller-bearing mounted support beam stabilizes the unit laterally until tunneling operations begin. The prefabricated pipeline is connected to the tunneling machine and the clamping unit is installed. Finally, the operating vehicle is hydraulically connected to the tunneling unit by a coupling system. After only a few easy assembly steps, now tunneling can begin. The tunnel boring machine excavates the soil using a cutting wheel. It rotates at about 30 revolutions per minute and has a torque of up to 140 kilonewton meters. An internal screw conveyor transports the excavated material to the trenching unit. In the deflection area, the cutting blades throw the material onto a pivoting belt conveyor. From there, it's dropped directly back into the trench or stored alongside the route. The machine is precisely controlled by an articulation joint inside the tunnel boring machine. At the same time, bentonite is injected to reduce friction between the pipeline and the soil. In the launch shaft, the pipe thruster provides up to 750 tons of thrust force for the insertion of machine and pipeline. After completing each stroke of 5 meters, the clamping unit is opened and moved. In this way, the pipeline is pushed underground section by section. The pipe thruster is directly controlled from the operating vehicle by remote control. All work is monitored on an integrated camera system. A laser-guided measuring system on the site surface keeps the tunneling unit exactly on course. Unevenness on the surface of the pipeline route is compensated by the buggy. The trolleys are mounted on swivel bearings and move independently of each other. They adjust to the surface automatically without changing the position of the tunnel boring machine. This means that unevenness of up to 1.5 meters can be compensated. Depending on the terrain, the buggy can be fitted with wheels, slides, or crawlers. The monitoring and control of all components is handled directly from the operating vehicle. Cameras on the tunneling unit and in the launch pit allow the machine operator constant visual control of the current situation. Via an extendable boom, the vehicle supplies the tunneling unit with the necessary power and with bentonite for lubrication of the annular gap. 
It also contains an interim storage facility for the bentonite. The bentonite storage is continuously refilled during tunneling by means of a transfer vehicle. This means operations can continue without interruptions. When the target pit is reached, pipeline installation is complete. The buggy drives directly over the target pit and stabilizes the unit. After decoupling of the operating vehicle, the tunneling unit is fixed in place with the lifting frame and held by a crane. Then it's disconnected from the completely installed pipeline and lifted out of the target pit. Finally, the crane transports the system to the next launch pit. At the project in the Netherlands, up to 1.2 meters of pipeline per minute were installed using the Pipe Express method. This was an impressive demonstration of the method's capabilities. Based on the findings and depending on project conditions, pipeline installation speeds of up to 1,000 meters per day are possible. For demanding projects, the innovative Pipe Express method from Herrenknecht provides an economical alternative to traditional installation techniques. With the technology, pipelines can be installed underground quickly, safely, and with minimal impact on the environment. <laughs>